Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to achieve perfect audio levels in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, a lot of people overlook this because I've seen so many videos on YouTube where the volume's too low or it's too high and it's super easy to tell. However, if you guys edit on like a laptop that doesn't have the greatest speakers or your headphones aren't that good, you have to rely off an audio meter. And what an audio meter is, is this guide over here that pretty much shows you how strong your audio is right now. For example, so Drew over here convinced me to come up here and I'm absolutely... As you can see, I can see the audio waveform down here, both the left and right channel, but over here is the most important thing when I am editing audio. So for example, I have three videos. My first video is a normal audio level, like my go-to, what I want it to sound like. My second one is something that's really quiet, and my third one is something that is probably too loud. So rip headphone users. So what we want to do first is when you're wanting to edit audio levels, simply make the audio track bigger by going over here in this area and scrolling up on the mouse wheel so that I can see all the waveforms. And what you want to do is think of each one of these lines right here as a ceiling. And you don't want to go above that ceiling. See how these guys are touching the ceiling? That tells me that the audio is too loud. And see how these aren't touching it? That tells me that it's too quiet. So first things first, we're going to make sure we have an audio meter. If you don't see that, go to Window audio meter. You can either show a color gradient which basically blends them all together but I like to not show a color gradient over here so I can see when exactly I'm in the red because in the red is where I like to have my audio but I do not want it to be touching the ceiling I just want it to be hovering really close to it. Convince me to come up here and I'm absolutely around negative three decibels and also the only other thing is dynamic and static peaks static peaks pretty much if you play through to come up here and you pause it'll stop that peak right there i like having it at static because i can see exactly where my peaks are I'm absolutely terrified and you notice that that one peak right here it was a clip and my clip it was like a little cut so since i have a static peak i can see where that is and if i really wanted to i could take out that individual clip with that said, let's jump on over it. The first clip I have here is a perfect audio level. So Drew over here convinced me to come up here. And I'm absolutely terrified. As you can see, the audio looks great looking at the actual waveform. Nothing's really touching the top besides that one clip right there. And the levels are staying here, here. right around up here. And I'm absolutely negative six to negative three. So that's where I want to be. So the second clip is quiet i can already tell right away without listening to it before we want to test this you want to reset these things simply by clicking on it or right click and reset indicators play through this thing going to get barbecue because you're in kansas so and Next as you can you see it's super quiet maxing out around negative 12 decibels and what we want to do to change this instead of clicking this line up and dragging it up by decibels which is completely okay let's right click on it go to audio gain and click this normalize max peak to zero decibels so that the max peak will be at zero decibels it won't peak if we click ok it'll simply drag our audio and normalize that so if we play back through this I'm going to get barbecue because you're in Kansas so naturally you have to have barbecue so we noticed that it actually sounded a lot better because you're in Kansas so naturally you have you can really get into this if you really wanted to. So I can notice that the waveform right here is a little loud. This is a little quiet. So if I wanted to, I could hold the control key and click anywhere on this middle line to create some keyframes. And what I can do with these keyframes is simply drag the audio up or down by a certain decibel level. And the decibel meter is labeled down here. So that will pretty much raise it. Because you're in Kansas, so... So that's another way to manipulate the audio, but that's the easiest way. And then the final and last one is too loud. Okay, so it's really cold outside. Ow, I had that turned down a lot, but it still hurts my ears. So what you want to do is right click, go to audio gain. You can simply adjust the gain to a certain level that you want, but I like doing normalized peaks because it does it all for you to zero. And that's okay, so it's really cold outside. That already makes it perfect. But like I said, if you have a clip, like, for example, in this one, that was really high and doesn't match anything else. Simply go to audio gain and then set your gain manually to, like, let's say, two. So the rule of thumb is when you are playing back through audio, make sure that you do not touch the ceiling. It's okay if, like, a little clip touches it and stuff like that, but just make sure that it doesn't go above zero decibels. And remember, I like to stay in between negative six and zero decibels. So if I'm editing something without good headphones or I can't hear it that well, I will always look at this chart over here just to be sure that I am in between negative six and zero when I am editing. 
If you guys have any more questions, just hit me up in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But as always, if you enjoyed the tutorial, click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future.